Hey guys, Nugs B here. Just wanted to take a moment to thank the sponsors of For the Record, and today I'm going to be thanking Advanta Clean of the Tri-State. They specialize in all industrial cleaning you would need for your home and commercial locations as well. Advanta Clean of the Tri-State provides essential indoor air quality services to residential and commercial customers. They uh, provide mold removal, water damage, dryer vent cleaning, and air duct cleaning. The owners of this great establishment are Pam and Joel Dooley. So if you want to slide on over to Facebook... If you're watching on Facebook, just go ahead and type it into the top of your search bar, AdvantaClean of the Tri-State. Or you can check them out on their website at www.AdvantaClean.com slash Ashland-KY. And like I said, that's ran by Pam and Joel Dooley. And if you need to call them, just give them a shout at 606 331 Five zero zero one, or if you want to stop in at their uh, location, it's four 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 six Thirteenth Street, Ashland KY. And like I said, these are great people, great friends of mine, and you guys definitely got to check them out if you have any issues with your home or your commercial location for your business or whatever it may be. So make sure to give them a call. Go over to their Facebook page, it's give them the a like, sun. share yeah. their page, and if possible, tell them yeah. Taylor sent you. I really appreciate it, guys. Let's it's go ahead and get this episode for started. The, the, it's for the record. I said it's for the It's for the record. Yeah, boy, it's for the It's for the record. And we all are. We all together. I said we What's up, everybody? It's your boy Nugs B coming to you with episode 31 for the record. Together FTR, hashtag that baby. And I am joined by the magical Joel Dooley. And you know, how you doing today, sir? Taylor, I'm doing great, sir. I appreciate you having me on today. Absolutely, man. I, I, it's an honor. It's my pleasure, honestly. You know, you're. Well, Taylor is. Uh... I saw you treat Josh Wheeler last time he was on here, <laughs> and um, I didn't want to be yelled at or joked about or mistreated like you treated him, so it took me a while to come on here, but I'm on. Thank you for having me. A lot of, lo- I like to keep it civil and uh, very, very just, you know, friend-like. Thank you. <laughs> got to be civilized yes, on the sir, podcast. Yes, sir, yes, you know? sir, no, I, I've become no an animal. No swearing here. Yeah, I've become an animal sometimes. It's ridiculous. I don't know what's wrong with Only me. Only freaks, freaking and darn it, when I say <laughs> But anyways, guys, so we're going to start today off, as usual, with the entertainment history. So, August 2nd, 1975, the Eagles, one of these nights, hits number one in the U.S., where it stays for one week, baby. Seven days. So, next thing that happened today is uh, August 2nd, 2014, Weird Al Yankovic's uh, mandatory fun goes to number one, giving the parody master his first chart-topping album. I've always liked Weird Al, bro. I don't know about everybody else, but I've really always been a huge fan of Weird Al. White and nerdy, bro? Come on. Amish Paradise, you're pitiful. Can't go spending all my life. (laughs) Trapped in a drive-thru? You remember that one, bro? That was hilarious, dude. Great songs, great songs. Great. Great man. And uh, the last thing I... Canadian, I'm pretty sure. I think he is Canadian, actually. Um, Shout out to to Quebec. Shout out, bro. I got to look that up now. I got to know. What is Weird Al, bro? He looks like he's from uh, Canada. I'm not going there with it. I'm just saying I'm fairly certain he's Canadian. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna say Quebec. I'm gonna agree. I'm gonna agree. He's from Cali, bro. <laughs> he's from Cali. We were oh. what? Hold on, hold on. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's from Cali. Shout okay. out Cali. Shout out Cali. Yeah, he was raised in Linwood, California. Yeah, he was an only child. Actually, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. Makes sense. <laughs> hey, hey, to all you old children out there, we love you. <laughs> We're not subjugating you. You're part of us. <laughs> FTR clan. Believe Don't that. listen to Taylor. Together FTR, <laughs> yeah. baby. Um, so the last thing I got for you guys today was super cool. Uh, in August 2nd, or August 2nd of 1962, Bob Dylan makes his name change official, legally saying adieu to his birth name, Robert Zimmerman. So for those of you who didn't know Bob Dylan's real name, it was Robert Zimmerman. Pretty awesome. 
Uh, also, I got some health tips for you guys today. Is that um, fat joke, Taylor? <laughs> where are you going there with that? Okay, I, I, okay. I, 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 I don't know I, how to stay like civilized. I, like I said, I, I wasn't trying to go where you went with Josh Wheeler, but if we need to go there, we can. <laughs> shout out to Wheeler. Oh, shout and also out, shout out to my guy. Yes, sir. Anyways, uh, back to the health tips. Sorry, I'm making fat jokes. I'm a bad. I'm a bad friend. I don't. Hey, know, I don't hey. know what to do with myself sometimes. It's called fluffy fun facts. Fluffy fun <laughs> facts, baby. Triple F, bro. That's a new segment. F cubed. That's, <laughs> that's a new segment on the show now. The triple F, bro. So choose lean proteins like poultry, fish, and beans as your main course of diet instead of you know beef and pork and so, you know things along those lines. Lean proteins are much better for your body. They will break down your fat easier. You know, they won't store fat. You know, they won't store as much fat because they're lean. Uh, also, learn to do stretching exercises when you wake up because it boosts circulation and digestion and it eases back pain as well. So, like, as soon as you get up every single day, you should take five to ten minutes or even three minutes. It doesn't really matter. Just take some amount of time every day to stretch just a little bit just to get the, you know, get the – Get the blood Get going, the cobwebs man. off. Get the you know, cobwebs as off. As Taylor Swift said, shake it off. Shake it off. <laughs> Shout out T-Swift. Yeah. Shout out T-Swift. Love you, baby girl. Love her. Gosh. So, next thing I got is some facts of the day. The human body is more than 60% water. Blood is 92% water. The brain and muscles are 75% water. And bones are about 22% water. A human can survive for a month or more without eating food, but only a week or so without drinking water. And water is one percent water. In case, <laughs> in case we are two point six percent water, ninety eight percent milk. <laughs> you know, whatever, man. Uh, and also, a calorie is just a measurement of energy. The amount of energy needed to raise one gram of water one degree Celsius at standard. Uh, uh, pressure. So this makes sense when talking about calories and food. Food provides energy, and our bodies need this energy to function throughout the day. So you need calories. Yeah. So if you go to Taco Bell and you see 400 calories on a burrito, don't look at it as a fat intake. Look at it as energy, <laughs> energy you're giving for yourself. The day. If you're, you're giving yourself energy for that marathon you're going to run later on. <laughs> that 5K is coming up. Yeah. Get you a beefy Frito yeah. burrito. Extra bro. cheese because you don't need. Cheese, you may need bro. that energy. <laughs> and, and, and you and you don't want to have to uh, stop and take a number two. Yeah. So you want to be, you know, you want to just eat all that cheese, bro. You got to get right. You got to stay good with your bowels, hey, man. Hey, 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 calcium protein. The body needs it. Bones need it. <laughs> Bones need it. Bones are what? Water. Bones. Water. H two O. Drink it. Uh, so, next thing we're gonna get into, guys, is the Raiders review. So we picked the year that my man was born, and we're gonna do the top five movies. Of the year that he was born. He chose five. I chose five. You guys know how it goes. So, Joel, you can go ahead and read yours off, my friend, and uh, let them know what you chose. Mine were obviously very, you know, wholesome nature. Some would say <laughs> cinematically uh, acclaimed. Very Waltons-like of you, you know? Little House on the Prairie, if you will. <laughs> very much so, yes, sir. Very much. Um, number one, Beverly Hills Cop. Beverly Hills Cop, baby. Because Eddie Murphy, the goat. Thin Blue Line. Uh, shout out to one of my cop friends. Two. Nightmare on Elm Street. Nightmare on Elm Street, baby. Three. It's not my favorite Indiana Jones movie. That's the Indiana Jones Last Crusade, but it's pretty good. Yeah. Indiana Jones, Temple of Doom, Temple which of is Doom kind Doom. of a, which is kind of like you know a preamble into what we're talking about today. Hint, hint. This is true. Temple uh, of Doom. No, no. It's oh my gosh. I um, Ghostbusters. Who I'm you gonna call? Ghostbusters. Who you gonna call? Ghostbusters. Bill Murray, bro. I love Bill Murray so much. I actually man. named my first dog Winston. That's legit. Yeah, and then it attacked a cleaning lady, and I get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to a cleaning lady. I'm sorry. Sorry. It wasn't my fault. It was Winston's. Oh man, um, dude, I love Ghostbusters though, and I love that like uh, that they put. Uh, they're going to have Bill Murray in Zombieland 2. I know that's a little off topic, but, like, I saw, uh, I read, like, you know, after I watched the trailer, I started looking at who's going to be in it and stuff, and he's going to be, excuse me, in the second one as well. Uh, shout out to Woody Harrelson. White God. Man Can't Jump. God, um, yes. I, uh, I'm I, so glad that's what you referenced first. I, 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 I learned that very, very harshly trying to play basketball <laughs> in 7th, 8th, ninth, 10th, and now. Wesley Snipes. All through high school. <laughs> I love Wesley Snipes, man. And did you know that uh, Marvel was actually going, like, bankrupt? Like, they were about to really, like, they were bombing, man. And then he, uh, you know, ended up doing Blade and brought them back to life. I didn't know that. Up, well, I mean, yeah. he's, he's, he's a vampire killer, so oh, he's, 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 he's a daywalker. He's very, he's, 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 for, daywalker, he's here for salvation. Baby. I love it. Um, but anyways, I wasn't trying to get off topic. I'm sorry, my friend. 
The only difference between Woody Harrelson and I is he actually ducked once. <laughs> He did. <laughs> yeah. He dunked yeah, once. He, I mean, like, once. Like, his parents bought the pumps. I never got any pumps. I never got any pumps, bro. <laughs> I was trying to dunk in Converse, yeah, bro. Yeah. We're it's, talking yeah. fucking flat it's, it's shoes It's sandals. Here. Yeah, bro. I was out there in mandals yeah. trying to dunk, bro. <laughs> and, of course, I'm going to Terminator. Yes, um, bro. Because, hopefully, at this episode, I'll be back again. Be back again. Um, that's, a, that's a Terminator joke. I know. For, uh, you know, understanding that. Because he says, I'll be back in that movie. And I'm hoping you invite me back to the show. Dude, isn't it so funny that that's like one of the most iconic voices of all entertainment? I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll, I'll be with weapons. I mean, he nuns it to I. I'll, I'll be back. Weapons. I mean, like, he, what is he doing? He spends bro? 20 seconds on the I'll, oh. and then two seconds on the be back. No, oh. no. Oh. But isn't it so funny that, like, I feel like that, and like, I don't even know what other. I don't know. Like, I feel like that's probably. I can't really compare it to any others, man. That's probably the most iconic voice and, like, accent and, like, just all-around gimmick, I guess you would call it, of any entertainment I can think of, bro. Straight up. That right there? Yeah. And I'll be back? Or his voice in general? His voice in general. Everybody mimics. Everybody has their own impersonation of Arnold. Every single person you know has seen The Terminator or yeah. seen, like, something. No, yeah, I would definitely say that his Probably voice the most iconic, is bro. the most frequently uh, mimicked. Yeah, straight you know? up. I can't, think of, I can't think of another one. I, uh... I mean, there's lines, you know, I mean, obviously the Step Brothers 2 and things like that that I feel like are yes. probably more referenced. Very true. You know? But voice-wise, I'd probably say him and probably Gilbert, uh, Gilbert Godfrey, bro. That's like the most iconic. That's not mimicked, but like as soon as you hear that voice, you know exactly. You were exactly. even born when he was making movies. You're right, bro. Uh, the first thing I ever saw like him Charles on. Charles Play? He was in Child's Play? Yeah, Gilbert Godfrey in Child's Play, bro. Oh my God, I didn't even know yeah, that, yeah, bro. I, I, I'm the pretty first sure. One, hey, if he I'll was look it up, bro. I'm pretty on. sure Gilbert Godfrey in Child's Play. In the first one? Or the second one, because he might have been the second one. No, maybe. Child's Play is the red hair kid, right? That's Chucky, bro. Child's Play. No, no it, what, what's the movie with the, the red hair kid? No, it, it's actually like a... Yeah, I don't think he was in Child's Play. Child's Play is Chucky. All right, so what's the one where uh, there's a red hair kid and he uh, he, has a, he has a sister and they call a bunch of chaos and there's like a ball pit and... Uh, Kramer from Seinfeld's of the movie. Mm, I know what you're talking about, bro. Hold on. No, that's not. Yeah, Child's Play is. uh, All right, so yeah. Yeah, okay. I know what you're talking about. But no, the first thing I saw him in was a cartoon, and he played a parrot, bro. And I can't remember what it was called. It was like something space, Toon Space, or something weird like that. But that was the first time I ever heard him. I remember he was giving the heebie jeebies. You know, I saw the movie. It was like, oh, no, he's here. Yeah. And he also. He's like an awkward uncle. Yeah, bro. He did, you know, he did did the parrot in uh, Aladdin as well, bro. Killer man, love Gilbert Godfrey. But I feel like him and Arnold Schwarzenegger, bro, like are the two that like you can hear them and you know who they are. You yeah. just know, bro. It's like okay, I know who that guy is, you know. But anyways, uh, so I'm gonna let you guys know my five. My five, number one. I didn't really pick them in any order, really, but I'll just name them off. Uh, Gremlins was the first one that uh, came to mind for me, just because, man, it holds a dear part of my heart. You know what I mean? The, the, the Mogwai, bro. The, you already know. You know, the, it, it, it's hilarious, man. Like, and it was so corny when you watch it now, but at the time when you're a kid, it's seriously so good. I have never seen the Gremlins. You've never seen the no, Gremlins? No, 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 no. no. I, oh, I, my yeah. God. I was, I was never down with the Grim. I'm disappointed, bro. And uh, number two, I'm going with the Karate Kid. Who no. was a bully, I feel like. <laughs> he learned I, uh, how to fight first off, first off, from he, painting fences and then beat a guy up. I mean, first off, like he was messing with the dude's girl. I mean, he, he, he the girl had a boyfriend. Like, this is true. He, he, he didn't go, like him. He, he's a new kid in school. He's going to cuckold. Yeah, yeah. Like, cuckold the guy. This is true. I mean, like, he jodied him, bro. I mean, like, I think he's rude. I think he's rude. stepping on toads, and I don't appreciate it. <laughs> Yeah, Daniel San needs to get his uh, life together. Yeah, he really does. I mean, he, or 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 learn how to make friends correctly. Yeah, you don't not do it by you don't stealing girlfriends. Yeah, come on, bro. Uh, third choice was Sixteen Candles, just because I'm corny and uh, you know that's just how I roll. Uh, fourth was Footloose because I'm also corny and that's just how I roll. Well, and you like dancing, so let's I, let's, let's, <laughs> let's be honest. I here. like to dance. Yeah, I can't dance, but I like to dance. You know, like I, it's like one of those things, man. Like. I just I don't I'm not good at Taylor, it. I've Taylor, tried. Taylor, Taylor, Taylor. When I walked in here, what you were doing? I was dancing. <laughs> you were dancing. I bro. was cranking that Soldier Boy. Yeah. That's exactly what I was. Oh. Doing. I, was, I, was, I, was I was Superman. That hey oh oh I was getting right, dude. For yeah. real, you, you got cranked that Soldier Boy sometimes, baby. Uh, and my last choice was Red Dawn with Swayze because Patrick Swayze is probably top ten actors for me. 
Roadhouse is one of my favorite movies oh, from the T-C, 80s. Oh, yeah. It's probably one of the best movie of the 80s. Top Roadhouse. five. Top, top five. Top five. Top five for so sure. Good. I mean, he, so good. Well, bro. my favorite part of the whole movie was the headlights that went up. Bro, yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, I mean, inverted. Changed it. Changed the game, dude. Seriously, though, Sam Elliott, Patrick Swayze, come on, bro. Roundhouse that, kicks. That do that Roundhouse duo kicks. was just phenomenal, dude. Uh, Bouncers it, that could roundhouse kick a guy in the face. It, that's it, pretty it, legit. It was a impressive thing. His shirt never came out of his belt. <laughs> like me, I stand up, my shirt's filled everywhere. His shirt never became, you know, it never, crinkled, it wrinkled, never, or it, came he, out of his pants. He kept an iron in his car. Every single it night. It never came and, out of his pants. It was always tucked in. Is if he wasn't drinking coffee, then he was ironing that shirt. <laughs> Dude, you know he the was man had phenomenal that style. Shirt, phenomenal style. All I right. loved his hair. Shout out to Mr. Swayze, R.I.P. Yeah, R.I.P. to Patrick Swayze, bro. Point Great break. Actor. Jesus. No one puts baby in the corner except for Swayze. Nobody <laughs> puts baby in the corner, and nobody except roundhouse for kicks. For P.S. And no, <laughs> nobody roundhouse kicks a man in the face, and doesn't untuck his shirt. Besides Patrick Swayze. Well, you think. When your leg is a certain angle above your head, it and would come right out. It's gonna come out. Either he, but this had, guy, he don't let it he come had out. Staples. He had something, or bro. His shirt he was so long, it. or he was wearing a onesie. <laughs> no, Maybe it was no, no, connected. No, 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 Maybe it was like okay, a, a, a full on just onesie, bro. Flannel stuff. I never thought about that, but I don't. I, he'd, he'd sweat too much. And <laughs> That's true. And how are you gonna like use the bathroom if you can't tell anything about sweating right now? Yeah, like how do you, how do you like how do you use the bathroom? Well, obviously in a buttons or a zipper or a very long zipper. Like the buttons that come out of the back is probably what. I I would like to say it's like a button. <laughs> <laughs> or or it'd be like uh, the uh, old uh, warm up pants back with the tearaways. Yes, bro. You know they have uh, jeans now that the UFC makes that are literally. <laughs> Made for kicking. <laughs> Jeans, bro. Jeans that you can wear. So you can literally kick a man in the face and keep your shirt tucked in. Why would you wear jeans you <laughs> and kick me in the face? Like, like when I'm when I'm wearing jeans, I'm taking my sweet thing on a nice date yeah. to Applebee's. We're, we're, <laughs> we're going square yeah, dancing yeah, at the Hootenanny yeah. is what I'm, we're I'm, doing. I'm wearing my Timberlands, and I'm going out that night, and I'm trying to dress to impress. I'm not trying to get my jeans I'm stained. Not, I'm not trying to fight and kick somebody in their face. Have you ever like, fell in some like, concrete with, in jeans? Of course. And torn, your, and, and torn the jeans? You hate it. Yeah, and you're like, gosh darn it. Oh, my gosh. I hate my life. And you're like, holy this moly. I, not only this is skin, awful. And you're more mad about your jeans being torn than your skin. Kidney. Oh, of course you are because you love those jeans. Now yeah. you got to cut them into jorts. And you you got to just make the jorts. But, but, but make them frayed. And then you fray them and then you, you tie them together yeah. and braid them. <laughs> <laughs> you just rock it out, hey, bro. I had done that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the, the UFC, they make jeans that literally you can kick a man in the head. I mean, this is pretty impressive stuff. I get it. And speaking of the UFC, uh, for those of you who didn't watch the last episode, September 7th, our boy Khabib and our boy Dustin Poirier are going to be fighting in Dubai for the lightweight championship, the title fight, the one and only. It's yeah, going to so be phenomenal, dude. I'm I pumped. am a huge, huge, huge DP, DP bandwagon baby. rider. Dustin Poirier, baby. Um, you know, I never thought he was the caliber he was yeah. until he beat your boy, Mr. Max, Max Holloway, Holloway. Yeah. Uh, native Hawaiian. Um, dude, he's killer. I mean, like... Truthfully, like he has evolved so much since he lost to McGregor oh, yeah. at 145. Oh yeah, you know he went up to 155, yep. and he's been killing. Oh yeah, bro, he's he needs he's to stay killing. in 155 and, lightweight and, and, all and, day. And, 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 and no one thinks he has a chance to be a Khabib man or Habib or how you know it's Khabib. Khabib. Um I can't say his but, last I mean, name. Like, but I know it's his first name. His I, uh, last name's crazy. I mean, I I think if anyone in light 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 division yeah. has a chance of. You know, Beating taking Khabib. his throne and like giving that one L on his record. It will be him. It's Dustin Poirier. It is. You're right, bro. And here's another thing you got to think about. Okay, so Max Holloway is undefeated in <coughs> featherweight. That's one, 145, well, he, right? He, uh, Ma- Max Holloway has lost twice. But that was a at, lightweight. No, 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 no. Max Holloway has only lost once at lightweight because he just went up to lightweight for one fight to fight Dustin Poirier for the interim title. He actually fights at 145. And, yeah, featherweight. Uh, He's never been beat. Oh, in wait, 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 McGregor's beat him. Poya's beaten him. But I, are you sure that wasn't in lightweight? No, I no. Thought... I, I, I swear, McGregor and you could be right. McGregor actually, McGregor and Holloway fought. But at, was that at one fifty five? It was one forty five. Okay. And, yeah, and okay. Poya and him had fought at uh, one forty five before. Uh, okay. Yeah. I thought that he had not lost any fights uh, featherweight, but you're right. He did. You're yeah. absolutely right. Yeah. The decision in uh, uh, yeah, good call. 
decision in round three. Yeah, the, uh, that was a uh, good call. I think that was McGregor's third fight, and McGregor actually tore his ACL. Twenty thirteen. Yeah, you're absolutely right. But, I thought that he, I thought he didn't lose any in featherweight, but he's lost two in featherweight yeah, even, and one in lightweight. What, one in lightweight. Or no, no, he's lost four total. Well, yeah, well, four I, total. I, yeah. I, I, I think one of those losses came before he was in the UFC. I, I, I may be wrong. Yeah, it was like may, whatever he was in before yeah. MMA or whatever it was. Yeah, and good call. Uh, but good yeah. Call. But yeah, he, um, Holloway, uh, Killer, ju- bro. just uh, he just beat Ed Frank Yeager. Yep. for the one forty five title last yep. weekend. Yep. And um, won my decision. I mean, uh, unanimous and, decision. And, and Frankie Edgar is a tough, tough Dude, guy, man. It's crazy that he's ten years older than Max Holloway well, and was still hanging with him. I, I mean, Edgar's been around. I mean, bro, for he's a been long fighting time. for a long, long time. I, I mean, when I was in college, you know, which was like one or two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I remember watching him fight. Uh, for the lightweight title, okay. you know, and that was that was that was you know ten plus years ago. Yeah, bro. Uh, and also another thing, man. Like we're talking about Dustin Poirier, that dude's been fighting since he was like eighteen. He uh, he's been fighting for like a decade now. I think he's like twenty eight or twenty nine. Hey, look this up. He, Poirier, what he's from Lafayette, Louisiana. Yeah, he's and, from Louisiana. And, I know uh, that. He uh, whenever he was uh, in the regional circuit series, mm-hmm. he um, he had a documentary about him uh, produced, mm-hmm. and I'm pretty sure it's on Netflix. Got you. And, uh, uh, let's see here. It's uh, Fightville. Uh, Fightville. 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 And, uh, official trailer, number one documentary, uh, 2012 HD movie. Yeah, I never, I never saw that actually. It's a, uh, it, it's really good. I, I recommend. I mean, like if you're an MMA fan, like we are, like yeah. check it out, give it a view. Um, hey, well, it came out at the end of 2011, I'm, I guess. And it really goes like behind the scenes of like the everyday struggle of up and coming fighters. You know, when yeah. they're trying to make it to the regional circuit. Yeah, and, man, um, he's the real deal. No, actually, it was in March. My bad. March of 2011, no. the YouTube video. It was a trailer of the next year. So, yeah, it came out in 2011. That's yeah. awesome, dude. Yeah, man. He's a real humble guy, too. He don't even talk crap. He just gets in there and fights, bro. And I like fighters like that. Yeah, you know? I, I mean, I like the fact, you know, like, people, at the end of the day, they're going to fight, man. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, what's the, what's the point of going? Like, well, if it's real beef, then it's awesome. I like that when it's real beef, but I feel like it's just staged, man. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, but. At, uh, all right. If you, you know, we're gonna fight. I'm not gonna make you more mad by talking crap about you <laughs> before we fight. You're like, oh my gosh, Taylor, I love you so much. Like you and Meatloaf. Yeah. I have ketchup. Would you like ketchup with Meatloaf? You know, I'm not gonna poke the bear before I get hit. That's true. You know? But I mean, it, I don't know. I get where you're coming from for sure. And like I said, I feel like that's the whole staging part of it. Like I feel like if it's real beef, then it's good to do that because you're both trying to get each other amped up to fight. You know, like. I loved when, like, Mike Tyson, like, would talk crap. Like, watching his, like, yeah. going back and watching his, uh, you know, like, press conferences and stuff. Oh. And just seeing him talk. I'm just like, dude, I love it. When, when Tyson was butt ankles, he was trying to, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, he was trying to fight uh, the commentators. He was trying to fight the cameraman. Dude, I mean, like, like he Tyson. He was a thug. Oh, he was a thug, bro. Like, Tyson. That's a guy that, like, you know, it, the whole thing about it you got to think about is, like, you know, him in, like, the only other person I can think of who had that type of stardom at that age would be, like, Justin Bieber. Because think about it. Like, JB, you know, old, old Jay Bieber blew up when he was, like, 16 or 17. Mike Tyson blew up when he was 18. He was the heavyweight champion of the world, all right? I, but I, I imagine going from, like, you know, that big a disparity. You oh, know, yeah. from, like, you know, dreadful, terrible poverty. Yeah. You know, I, I'm pretty sure Philadelphia, where he's from. Uh, I think he, he might be from Brooklyn. He might be from New York, Mike Tyson. Look at that. I, 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 think he's, I think he's from is it Philadelphia or Brooklyn. Yeah, but he's I mean, one like, of the two. He's up north. A, a very impoverished. And then overnight, literally overnight, oh, yeah, bro. you are, you know, should be set for life. Yeah, he's from Brownsville, New Brownsville. York. Yeah, I, don't, Brownsville. I don't know why I thought Philadelphia. Um, but yeah, I said Brooklyn. I was all. I mean, it's it's, it's right by. It's like in Brooklyn, I guess. Yeah, like, it's, but it's, it's a, a part of Brooklyn. It's a borough. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's inside uh, the borough. Um, but uh, yeah, dude. The thing about Mike Tyson is like he talked about when he was on JRE. Man, he was talking about how like literally his mom was like having him like like smoke weed when he was like twelve and like eleven and like he was like dropping acid when he was like ten and eleven. <sighs> And doing cocaine and like drinking and like taking like mushrooms when he was a kid, dude. Yeah. And his mom was like a drunk, like crack addict and stuff who was like just not like a good parent to take care of a kid. He pretty much just had to fend for himself. And then he met uh, Cuz. Yeah. Uh, and, and Cuz was pretty much like a dad, like uncle to him or whatever. I don't know if it was his family or whatever, but like he, you know, whatever. But he was hypnotizing him, man. He would go to a guy and get hypnotized. Cuz would, like, you know, take him to get hypnotized and, like, put him in this, like, animal trainer mode, man. Like, just to be a, 
a killer. Like seriously, man, he talks about this stuff. Like and and dude, his podcast is awesome. Like Hot Boxing with Mike Tyson, it's really funny, man. It's 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 a it's a lot of fun to watch. Really I mean, like is. you, I'm a big Jerry guy. Love and, it. And um, you know, I follow a lot of uh, different s- smaller podcasts. But oh I've, yeah, me as well. This past weekend with Theo Vaughn, yeah. love it, bro. I've, King uh, and the Sting. I've 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 never watched. The, the Mike Tyson. Oh, it just came out, bro. Like yeah. he like he's only done maybe twenty or thirty episodes. Like yeah. it's not it's it's new, bro. He had like Wiz Khalifa and uh, he had LL Cool J. Um, I can't even remember. He's had Snoop Dogg, Mike Epps, uh, a couple few people, man. And, yeah. uh, Joey Diaz. He had Joey, Joey Diaz. Diaz on there. God, Joey I love D. him, bro. Joey Diaz. Me, Joey Joey Diaz is seriously one of the. Funniest individuals you will ever you know what? watch, you know what? bro. Not a big fan of Joey Diaz. Not a big fan, man. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I uh, I listen, I listen to Brendan Schaub on JRE. Really? Yeah. Then Joey Diaz. I mean, like, I feel oh like Joey Diaz God. is always just yelling. Like, nah, Joey is either yelling and going like this, or he's whispering like this, dog. He's like, yo, what's up, dog? But I, hey, what's up? I love him, though, dude. I, he's he's so funny, man. He cracks me up. His stand-up's I, good, too. See, I, you know, I know what stand-up. My experience with him is on podcast. Word. His stand-up's yeah. good, though. But um, I'll tell you right now. Did you Have you ever watched This Is Not Happening? It's on. It was like a, it was like a Comedy Central thing that Ari Shafir hosted for a long time, and now it's uh, – Oh, look, I gotta look it up, bro. It. I can't, it, dude. It's really funny though. Like, pretty much what it is is like, comics go on there and just tell stories like that has happened to them and stuff. Yeah. I'll send you some links to it and I'll, uh, uh, I'll post it on here as well, man. Because like, there's some stories on there that he tells that literally had me crying, laughing, dude. Like, I mean, he's a great storyteller. Roy Wood Jr. Yeah, he he uh, he's the new host of uh, This Is Not Happening on Comedy Central for those of you who like comedy, such as Joel and I. Uh, yeah, but my, my favorite um, perennial member of JRE podcast is yeah. Bert Kreischer. Really, you yeah. like Bert? Yeah, I, I like Bert, but I don't like his podcast. Really, like, see, see, I, I, see, I've I, tried to watch it. See, and I, like, I think Bert is freaking. Hilarious. He's really. No, here's the thing. Don't get me wrong, dude. He's hilarious, but I don't like his podcast. Like I've tried to watch it. I've I've watched a couple episodes on it. I just don't like. I don't know. I like the new one with him and Tom Segura, Two Bears in One Cave. That one's funny. It just now started. So, so kind of like how you think Joey Diaz is a great storyteller. Yeah. Like, I think Burt Kreischer. Oh, is- Burt Kreischer, Joey Diaz, and probably Bill Burr are probably my three favorite storytellers when it comes to comedians. Yeah. I, I, Straight I, up. I, I, I would put Burt Kreischer up with like the number one. Really? One hundred percent. He's a good storyteller, I, though. Uh, Did I you went, see Secret Time? I went and saw him live. Really? Uh, Where at? Uh, in Lexington. That's awesome, dude. And, uh, that's really awesome. Heck yeah, shout man. out to Ashley Armstrong and I went. Yeah, that's legit, <laughs> dude. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we went and... Um, it was hilarious, man. Dude, he's I, funny. Uh, I was, I, 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 and, like, he, people get mad at him if he doesn't take his shirt off because it's, like, his thing. Well, like, and someone stole his shirt. Like, that is I, crazy. I, I, from the stage. Yeah. And he was looking for a shirt. Then I, then I yelled. I was like, hey, man, if you want a 4X shirt, you can have a 4X shirt. And, <laughs> and he stopped the show, and he was like, who has a 4X shirt? <laughs> I, was, I, was, I, was, I was like, me. He was like, they should make 4X shirts. I'm like, yeah. So so, Bert Kreischer Bro. in the middle of his comedy show <laughs> was uh, was fat ro- fat shaming me <laughs> because I I wore a Forex shirt. That's funny. He definitely is one of my favorite JRE guests, though, man. He's really really funny. Like he cracks me up. But you already know my favorite guest of all time, and that's gonna be Alex Jones and Eddie Bravo. Always, bro. Alex so Jones is the guy. Alex Jones's first appearance on JRE. So good. I mean, nine like, eleven. That was. I think that was the episode. Nine one one. Yeah. 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 Wait, his, his, his first two were the best. Yeah, yeah. I think he's only been on there three, twice. Or has it, it been three, three times? Three times, I'm pretty okay, sure. Okay. Um, isn't it three times? I don't know. I think so, it was so, only two so, because so, so, wait, remember he was going to have him on, then he was like, nah. He, he was he still there a few months co- ago. He, he was, but that, that was like the comeback. All right, so he was on there two times. I, I think it was twice. Right. I think it was twice. Right. And both times were with Eddie Bravo. Yeah. 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 I love and, Eddie, man. And, He's awesome. Eddie Bravo's level. Dude, I really, in, like, when I first started watching podcasts, man, like, when I really started getting into it, I wasn't really the biggest fan of Eddie. Like, I don't know why. I just thought he was overwhelming. Like, I always thought he was just kind of discouraging of, like, no, but- the whole thing. But then, like, I started really listening to what he was saying. And, like, you know, I started watching more of his, uh, you know, like, he's been on uh, uh, Tinfoil Hat podcast yeah. with uh, Sam Tripoli. I think that's his name. Or Tripoli. Or I don't know how to say his name. But he's funny, too. But, I mean, like, I feel like when you have someone like Joe Rogan, you know, yeah. you, you need the dichotomy 
of Eddie Bravo. Oh, 100%. Yeah, he, he, like, they, they, they Eddie's of, a crazy person. Yeah, they kind of right I love him, bro. Like conspiracy theory. Oh, yeah. You know, dude. like like to go with Joe Rubin's sensibility and understanding. Yeah, Joe's very lean back and like, you know, he's very just chill. Hey. Oh, 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 I went to the Berg. You know, I got the mints, baby. Oh, man. Icebreakers, cool mint. That's how I quit smoking cigarettes, bro. I still Straight up. That's how I quit chewing, man. Like, I quit, um, I've almost been nicotine free for almost two years, dude. I quit smoking cigarettes exclusively and was just chewing. Like, that was it. And then uh, I ended up quitting that cold turkey, bro, and just started, like, I don't always have mints now, but, like, I, I get them, like, every once in a while still just because, like, it, it helped me cope with, like, the addiction of nicotine. Because literally, dude, I had dreams for, like, the first six months about smoking cigarettes. Yeah. It was that intense, man. Like, that was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life was quit cigarettes, man. Seriously. See, I picked up smoking um, about five months ago. Yeah. And Later, yeah, bro. Yeah. Like, you randomly just started smoking yeah. cigs. I well, was like, what I, is going on, well, bro? I, mean, I, I, I saw them and thought, I was like, I don't know what fiberglass tastes like. <laughs> And I had it. It was like, man, this is many fresh. Did I just go change the insulation in the house. From I was, uh, so I started that up. And I, I want to breathe it in. I actually uh, quit smoking um, on Monday. Well, so not only quit. You know, I'm, I'm forty dollars mm-hmm. cigarette. It's and so completely like craving it. Yeah, but. yeah, man. I, uh, dude, I still crave cigarettes, man. Like, I, I'll go into stores and I'll like see a pack of cigarettes or something, or I'll see like a chew and like, dude, I really do. I want to buy it and be like, you know, just for old time's sake, you know, it's okay. It's not a big deal. You know, I got this. And then I'm like, nah, man, because I know if I smoke, a, if I taste a cigarette, bro, and I taste it, I know it's just going to go right into my bloodstream, bro. And I'm just going to feel it. And it's, I already know it's going to make my hair stand up on my skin, bro, because it's that hard of an addiction, bro. Yeah. Like, it's so hard to quit, man. Like, see, I've always dipped. See, I, that's yeah. what I did too, bro. Yeah. Like, I, I literally quit smoking cigarettes to dip. And then that's all I did was just chew, bro. That's all I did, man. And then, like, it's a, it's the same thing. If I chew, I know I'm going to be like, oh, man, I want this all the time. Like, because I just love it, dude. Like, it, it feels so good, man. It makes your body feel so good once you get used to it. Yeah, you know? I, I probably haven't had dip in about two months. And, I mean, it's, it's – It's been a minute for me. And it's not like I've been quitting – I try to quit dipping. I'm gonna smoke yeah. some cigarettes. God. And so like, but like, come on, baby, I, uh, come I, on. I, I, I'm, I'm hoping. Uh, you know, I have a lot of packs this Monday. Yeah. And so that's I'm, good, bro. That's good. I, uh, and it's hard, man. Like it really is, dude. It's seriously one of the hardest things to do. Well, and like you and I both know, I like my nightlife. Yeah. So I mean, like, that's I, true. I, I, I like going to bars, areas on you know, yeah. on, in the evenings, especially on the weekends. Yeah. And so it's almost like a social thing. You know, like, like smoking uh, cigs, like yeah. yeah, I get what you're saying, bro. I really do. Like that's how it really is too. When you like, if you have a beer, like you have a couple beers or something, you it just a cigarette. a cigarette is just like, yeah, it just feels good when you're dr- drinking. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like if, if you have a couple beers and shit, and then you're, uh, you know, oh man, I, uh, anyways, but you know, when you have a couple beers and you, uh, you smoke a cigarette or whatever, it's like I don't know, man. It just really. It's like I said, it hits your bloodstream, man, and then it just, I don't know, it really changes how you feel, you know? Like, it changes how you you feel, man. Like, it makes you, it intenses your, I don't know, your your, your buzz from the alcohol, I guess you well, could and say. I, like, the girl I was saying, like, we're both terrible influence on each other because, like, she doesn't really smoke. Yeah. And I don't really smoke. Yeah. But, like, whenever I start drinking, yeah. you know, I'll crave a cigarette. So yeah. So she'll, she'll go outside with, go outside with me. That's true. And then, like, she'll smoke a cigarette. Yeah. And so, like, I'm hoping... You know, me uh, quitting on Monday. Hope knock on fake wood. You got this, um, bro. You got this. You know, I'm telling you, leads man. into you know a continual thing because yeah. I don't like you know waking up my hands smell like smoke. Oh, dude, it you know, stinks so I bad, man. Your clothes it's, smell. Dude, it sticks to you like napalm. Yeah, it, it really I mean, does. It, bro. There's no getting out of it. It's like if you swing your house one night, you know, it takes four days for the order. Oh, dude, it takes forever well, to get out of your house. That's why I don't I don't let anybody smoke cigarettes in my well, house I, or my I, car, bro. Usually, we're not here. I smoke a lot of time in your house. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> Oh, at home. But it up. Oh yeah, time to <laughs> yeah, smoke yeah, a stogie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time to you know smoke a stogie. But yeah, man, I I agree. I uh, I don't know why I picked the habit up. I really don't. Dude, um, it's hard, man. And I'm hoping um, it's difficult. I I don't plan on buying a pack of cigarettes. Don't do it, dude. Yeah, I, I don't, don't, don't do it. I don't, I don't plan on Just stay away from everybody smoke cigs. Because as soon as you get around somebody smoke you, cigs, you hear that people? If you smoke cigarettes, oh, stay away from God, me. I don't like I you. Want a we ain't friends anymore. <laughs> hey. And also, I wanted to announce. I got a hammer. Uh, <laughs> for those of you who uh, like to go uh, to the movie theaters, as of right now, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is out. Uh, the Fast and Furious presents Hobbs and Shaw is out, uh, and It Chapter Two comes out September sixth. I just saw um, Annabelle earlier with Kaylin, nice. and um, I've never seen it. Worst 
freaking movie I've, I've never ever seen. It, it's Annabelle comes home. I'm like, I, like, I don't know where she at before she went home, but yeah, whatever. I, literally, in the market. You it, know? Was, it was it was two, it was two hours of like me waiting for Annabelle to do anything, yeah. and Annabelle didn't do anything. Uh, I want to see I want to see some killing. If I want to watch a horror I, I, movie, my, 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 my thing is like literally, like, I looked at Kayla, I was like, you know what? Do you want to leave? And she's like, yeah. I like I like killing. Like I had a better time um, eating popcorn. Yeah, and drinking my. Diet Cola. Diet Cola. I was actually char- Cherry Coke. I didn't get that. Oh, you got to get it. Dude, it's like, it's like tradition. If you go to the movie theater and don't get Cherry Coke, I don't even drink caffeine anymore, yeah. bro. But I get a Cherry Coke. Well, dude. It's, 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 it's tradition, It's bro. Cherry Cola. You have to get you know. the Cola, bro. Straight oh. up. Yeah, because it's classy. So good, man. It's, it's, so good. And it's so bad for you, but it tastes so but good. Is it, it feels so good. Is it, is it really bad for you, though? Ah, oh, it's real bad. I, I'm pretty sure cherries eat. Fruit, right? <laughs> the so, high fructose corn syrup cherry yo, flavor, baby. We're oh, all the way together. Oh, that's, 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 that's a hard corn syrup. That's right there. That's a hard CS. I'm oh, on that fruit God. lifestyle, not that, that corn syrup lifestyle. Funny. Josh Wheeler, shout out. Josh Wheeler, shout <laughs> Josh out. Josh Wheeler, baby. shout out. I'm saying that for you today, big Josh. He's got your back, bro. He said hey. I was over here talking that heat. Son. Hey, I always got you, big talking dog. that heat, bro. We got we got crazy on our episode. We really did, and like. He's about to start school, so I'm gonna have to have him come back on before he gets a crazy schedule. You know, what oh, I mean? yeah. so I can, you know, yell at him some more and yeah. you know, cry. Swear him, like, yeah, you know, yeah. Like cussing, yeah. you know, getting crazy. Um, but anyways, my friend. So let me ask you this: If you had to pick in time, in any point of history, <sighs> to be a warrior, get out of here. What? Get what warrior here. would you American be? American Revolution. Because of outfits. Yes. Turn hey, up hey, for a hey, musket. Hey, I'm rocking that wool 24-7. <laughs> yeah. Their hats were yeah, so yeah. lit. Yeah. They had those ni- nice the pins wigs, and buttons. You know? this, Give me that button. Nice. I'm taking your yeah, button. bro. That's legit. No, um, seriously. I would have sweat terribly if I was wearing that wool. Oh, bro. I would oh, my die. Gosh. You, you, I would die, son. Oh Especially my with gosh. the heat. I mean, you got to think. Think about the guys who were in the South, you know? Like, those guys were think really about, sweating. I, I think about the guys in the North in the summer. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not like, too bad. I, South stays hot, man. It stays man, I'm, I'm hot. I'm sweating no matter what. I'm sweating 30 years. That's true. In Virginia. I do sweat winter. a lot, too. I don't know why, man. Like, I didn't. I feel like when I was a kid, I didn't sweat that often. And then when I got older, man, I just, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just started Blood sweating. Blood pressure. Probably. Dude, it's crazy you say that because when I went, I went and got my vitals checked because I thought something was wrong with me. Like, I, like, I had like a crazy weird pain like on the uh, side of my jaw. So I went and got my, yeah. you know. <laughs> I went and got, I went and got it, you know, checked out because I was like, I was concerned. It 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 had been like four days. It didn't go away. Long story short, like I guess it was like a, like kind of like a little ear infection, like an inner ear infection or whatever. That there's a tube that goes in your jaw, uh, that's connected to your, uh, you know, your uh, eardrum or whatever. But I thought it was, I don't know. I thought it was like, I don't know. I didn't know what it was, bro. I thought it was a tooth something or I don't know, bro. Something crazy. So anyways, I go there and they actually said that I have textbook. Blood pressure, bro. Like so, the best blood pressure you could have. I have it. You know what's crazy? What? <laughs> we we we've already established I like not life. Yeah. You know, I, I don't get the best sleep. Uh, I I eat whatever I want to. Yeah. And I went to the doctor in March. Yeah. And she was t- t- she was uh taking my vitals and my blood pressure and everything. Yeah. <laughs> Came back as normal blood pressure. Really? That's <laughs> I was, crazy. I was bro. like. FTR what? <laughs> FTR what? Normal blood pressure. I'm sweating right now and it's March. <laughs> like, how's this normal? Oh, like, like, like Lily, man, you need to take that again because right now your office is cold as shoot yeah. and I'm sweating. Hey, it's a marvel. Yeah, but, I'm sweating too, though. It's hot outside today. I've been in March in the air conditioned <laughs> room at the doctor. Are you sweating? Are you? Are you? Because I was. But it's hot today. That's why we're sweating right now. Like it's it's pretty hot today, bro. Well, it's probably a good eighty nine degrees. Plus, I, I ran over here. Yeah, you sprinted, did yeah, a little marathon in my flame shirt, you know. which made me go ten miles per hour faster. <laughs> <laughs> so the next thing I gotta ask you, bro, is uh, <laughs> 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 if, uh, if you had to, if if, uh, if if time travel was legit, uh, what would you? Uh, what would you go? Would you go? Would you go forward, or Get would you go? Here. Would you go to the past? Psh, 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 psh. Hey, that's, 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 psh. that's my guy. Get out of here! Bro, did you see the yeah. mat, the furniture one? Psh. Dude, he walks yeah. in and he's like, <laughs> jumps, he off, went, <laughs> jumps off, jumps off, off to the <laughs> bed. <laughs> he literally like What's he walks he in and he was like, he's like, yeah, can I help you? He's <laughs> like, psh. he's like, psh. He he's like. <laughs> Let me uh, see what you got oh here, I gosh. guess. He's like, I, I don't know. And he, and he, he's wearing, like, the Coogee sweater, like, Bill Cosby style, bro. 
looking like Notorious B.I.G. when he was wearing the sweaters, bro. <laughs> And, and, and he walks over and he's like he's like he kicks the bed frame he just like jumps bro like literally jumps onto like dives bro oh, like phenomenal swan tom bomb from the top ropes onto this mattress and break just caves it in dude that's literally one of the funniest videos on the internet right now please go check that out it's hilarious if you have any listen now and yeah. we can't be friends uh, out. You can't but be friends. to answer yeah. your question I would go four in time okay pull a biff okay biff Come back in time with a bunch of money gambling and give it all to the homeless. Nice. I care. We care. Not just homeless, you know, but truthfully, like, yeah. talk about humanity. Because a lot of people Absolutely, need it. Absolutely, bro. That's legit, Also, I'd be man. patting my pockets, too, going down to Belize, living it up. <laughs> living it up. <laughs> Let me ask you this, bro. If you had to pick your favorite chicken spot, like your favorite oh, chicken, like, restaurant, what are you going to choose, bro? Um, oh man, you put me on the spot. I put you on the so spot, bro. Gosh darn, Nelly. I put, I put you on the spot. All right, all right spot so, so all right, we, we, have to, we have to break it down, bro. If, mm-hmm. if we're going to do this, we have to be intricate with it. We have to be scientific. Are we talking like wings? Or are we talking like mm, legs and strips? Good call, good call. I'm going to say, oh, good call, bro. I'm going to say, what is your favorite wing place? All right, so all, w- wings, it, it, bro. It all, honestly, man, um, Dega Roach. Okay. It, it, uh, Makes the best wings I've in my life. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, he lives in Ironton, right? Yeah, Digger Roach. Uh, Word. We, uh, we've actually won Wing Wars. I, I, I already know. Uh, well, I already so, know. here's the thing. If, if I can't take credit for it, yeah. Digger's a cook. Yeah. I mean, like, he, he actually has his own recipes and dry that's rubs. Awesome. And, like, yeah, that's, he, he that's actually, legit. He actually practices the craft. Takes it serious. Yeah, yeah, he, he, yeah it serious. it's serious to him. And, I mean, um, I mean, if, if you give him, you know, an hour and some spices and a deep fryer yeah. and some wings, yeah. you know, he can make heaven. Nice. And, uh, That's legit, dude. And like, he just knows what he's doing. So, I mean, I would say, but if you're talking about store. Yeah, like uh, restaurant, like, you know, uh, like established restaurant. Dude, you know man, I mean? you know what I mean? Like, just around here. Man, Anywhere, uh, bro. Dude, I, I think Fat Patties have good wings and Enzo all has good All right, bro. They're not bad. It, 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 Enzo has good wings. That's is all right. Uh, but if, if the peddler, dude, in Huntington. Word. The peddler in Huntington. I'll tell you probably my favorite wings. If we're picking wings, oh, man. I don't even know. Because I want to say B-dubs, but then again, I can't. Like, I, I can't even really say, like, they're see, the best. B-dubs, are they going to sauce them too heavy? Are they going to sauce them at all? Exactly. Or are they going to think your sauce? Exactly. Or are they going to put mustard on it? You bro. don't know. They don't, they, 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 they don't, don't know what they're doing. Know. They're too inconsistent, bro. They're not, like, you, like, it's not like when you go to B-dubs, you know it's going to be slamming every single time. It's a hit or miss, bro. Like, it's not consistent. Dude. Like, their food is good, but, like, their wings are not always that good, bro. So, like, honestly, my opinion, wing-wise, I know this sounds weird, dude, but in all actuality, I'd probably say Applebee's, dude. They're boneless wings. I love them. No, them. see, see, see. I love see, them. That's, that's not fair, Taylor. That's not fair. Are we talking so, tra- so, traditional so, 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 I thought you were talking traditional. I think, I, I traditional? Okay. So, 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 see, now I'm changing. If we get chicken nuggets on, <laughs> if we don't want chicken nuggets, then obviously the Chick Fizzle. Chick-fil-A. All right. If we're, we're talking chicken nuggets, Chick-fil-A. Yeah, Chick-fil-A right, probably the best um, chicken nuggets. But, you know, if we're talking about traditional. Traditional, then I'm going to switch it up, and I'm probably, mm, I don't know, bro. Uh, if I had, if I ha- gun to my head, if I had to pick, I'd probably either say Big Boy, uh, Frishes Ooh, or whatever. Their really? wings, their wings are pretty good, bro. If it's made right, you know what I mean. Like it depends on the cook too. But their wings are pretty good, bro. I don't know why they've always just been pretty solid. And uh, I'd probably say Big Boy and. See, I know, I know, I know the Big Boy in Ireton. Yeah. All right, so yeah. yeah it's I, all right. I, I know a few of the cooks bad. out there, man. Like, they can cook. It's not bad, bro. They it's can really cook, nice. Man. It's pretty good. It's a few of my friends are there. Uh, oh, man. And look, I got to give a shout out to my boy DJ, too. DJ, you know what I'm saying? Who The underdog, you know what I mean? Because that man, he can make some wings, too. DJ. Uh, Wilson. DJ Wilson? Yeah, I don't know if you know him, actually, bro. Who's, who's he? Uh, he, he, ran, he ran the. Uh, Pull him, up, him, I would say him and uh, Day Day and uh, Day Day shot Day Day. Yeah, bro. Him and Day Day, they uh, they were in the bottom of the Elks for a while. Uh, you know, he's still doing the, uh, you know, DJ still doing the food truck thing. Uh, I would say you might know him if if you saw him actually, bro. Uh, he's a real good guy. But his wings are his wings are fire, bro. Yeah, he, I mean, uh, Day Day can cook, man. I, yeah, uh, Day Day's a great cook as well, man. They're both great cooks, man. One hundred percent. Uh, but yeah, man, uh, I got to give a shout out to those guys because those guys can they can cook some nice wings, bro. 
Uh, shout out to the underdog for sure, man. The food truck going to be back up and come, man. DJ's supposed to be on the podcast, oh, but yeah, man. I, 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 don't, I don't know if he messed with me like that no more. I don't know if we still friends. You know, he don't, he don't never hit me up, so I'm, I'm just going to cry about it, you know. I hope he sees this too, bro, because I'm, I'm DJ, come the podcast. Crying, you know what I'm saying? He's over here telling you shout outs. Bro. I know, bro. But yeah, bro, shout out to DJ. Shout out to Day Day. Their wings are fire, bro, and I'm probably going to say Big Boy. Big boy, all right, yeah. Straight man. up, big boy's probably, they're probably taking it from me. Uh, now, if we're talking tenders, bro, I'm going to go with Popeye's or Slim Chickens, bro. All right, so. Uh, Straight up, Slim Chicken's got some killer tenders, bro. Man, For those who haven't been so to Slim Chickens, bro, bro that, that is, it is banging, bro. Like, it's nice. They got some hitters, dude. Uh, their sauces, their honey barbecue, dude, it's good. My man Irv, uh, he's cooking over, we, we need a setter now. Yeah, my dude Kool Aid and yeah. uh, also Lambert, my dude Lambo, yeah, they both they, work there. They, and YG uh, works there too. They they can cook, man. Yeah, uh, I haven't been to Wings, bro. We need to check that joint out for yeah, real. Yeah, so I uh, back when I uh, former career lived up in Marietta. Yeah, uh, there was a Marietta. Shout right out to Marietta, Trump. baby. Yeah, Marietta, Ohio. Marietta, yeah. hey, what the up? Marietta. Hey, the fe- Marietta. What's up, good fellas? What's up? What I'm talking about. <laughs> 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 uh, but um, there was a wing center right across from there. Oh, that's legit. And, um, We'd go over there and have an evening beverages. I think my dude wings. BJ said he talked about that one in Marietta, actually. Man, it's bro. fire, dude. I'm pretty sure. It's, um, it's, uh, it, it's, it's more of a bar. Shout out uh, to my dude BJ, by the way. He's supposed setting, to be on here, but, too, yeah. man. But, you know, he don't really mess with me like that. So, I, BJ, I don't know. come on, man. Come on, BJ. He's begging Look, you why this are all, point. Why are all the initials guys not messing with me? Yeah. DJ, BJ, TJ. TJ D- Jackson, where you at? TJ. Where you at, bro? Oh, oh, oh. oh. He's supposed to come kick it with us, man. Hey, hey. He's supposed to come chill with us, man. I haven't man. seen my roommate in three months. Believe I don't even know. That, bro. He don't even hey, love us no hey, more, TJ, bro. TJ, are we still roommates? He don't even love us, bro. He don't love us no more. Man, he don't love me. He don't love us. But I don't know what it is with these guys with initials, man, abbreviating their names. I don't know what's up, man. I'm tired of y'all not loving me no more, man. Come on. Come on here. We'll, you know, have a good time, yada, yada. But anyways, uh, yeah, like I said, bro, I, uh, I'm probably going to have to go with Slim Chickens or Popeyes, dude, straight up when we're talking tenders. Well, I'll be with my TJ. <laughs> oh, the TJ might break me. <laughs> Oh, well, I go crazy. Because I mean, Joel needs a TJ. Oh, God, that's funny, bro. Uh, But, yeah, man. uh, Also, we got a fight tomorrow. Uh, We got... uh, Colby and Robbie, brother. Colby and Robbie. Who else is on this card? We got... Uh, uh, Let's see Jim Miller's fighting. Okay. Uh, This is Welterweight, right? That's Their their fight's Welterweight. Yeah, Colby and Robbie are fighting Welterweight, man. Um, That's going to be a great battle. Uh, We just saw... Colby beat RDA for the intern belt about last year. He hasn't fought about a year, man. Let's He's been a squaw with Dana White. And Robbie, he just... He's what with Dana White? He was on a squaw with Dana White. Oh, okay, okay. Back and forth. So, I so we got him. And then, Jim Miller and uh, Clay Guida? Is Clay that Guida, man. Guida, okay. okay. Uh, Jim Miller's had a really good outing last That's fight. That's lightweight. That's the yeah. main fight. Clay Guida, he's, he's a... Joe Jim and Jim I, and Clay been in the, the company forever. I really don't know how to say these guys. I don't know how to say their right, names. So we got uh, Trevin Giles and Scott Holzman. Okay. Um, yeah, that, well, those are two different weight classes, though. The, right. These guys right here are the ones that are fighting. Is that all right, so, Joaquim Silva and Nazrat? It's, it's, it's jo- Joaquim Silva. Joaquim. Okay, I'll say, I don't and, know how to say uh, his name. Trevor Giles. Okay. And now, uh, don't even ask about the Darko. I'm sorry. I'm, I've been living. Darko? Never even heard of him. So, but yeah, obviously the main he's, fight. He's kind of newer, though. I mean, 13 and 2. He hasn't had a whole lot, you know what I mean? Yeah. Obviously, the main fights the Robbie Lawyer, R- Lawler, and Kobe Kevin to fight. Um, yeah, that's gonna be pretty legit. Walter White's always fun, man. Uh, lightweight's always my jam, though. I feel like those guys really get it in. You know, yeah, I feel I, like I feel like they really get in there and get busy. Lightweight's been a staple of the uh, the company for so long, man. I mean, it's always been. It was like heavyweight for a while. Well, you, you know? I mean, back when you know you had uh, Tito Ortiz, Tito Adele, you know, you, you had Wayne uh, Silva, uh, uh, Ken Shamrock. Yeah. I mean, like, all those guys. Forrest fight. Griffin. Yeah. Uh, oh, Rampage, Rampage Jet Jackson. Jackson. Yeah, he was a champ. Um, but yeah, Rashad Evans, man, Luna yeah. Lu- 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 Machida. Um, yeah, but dude, Evans, I mean, bro, like, I really think right now, man, um, the toughest division may be uh, lightweight or welterweight, man. Yeah. Like, you have a bunch of people. Yeah, featherweight's pretty crazy, too. They, there's some pretty crazy but people. But dude, featherweight, featherweight, man, like, like we told before, our boy Holloway just beats yeah, he, everybody he, up. He, he literally I, does, I, I mean, bro. I mean, everybody, and, everybody, and, and, everybody. And we saw that with uh, Frankie Edgar on that last fight. We saw that his size and his striking is what won that fight. Because that guy, he, it's hard to hang with a dude. If you're fighting at 145 or 155, but that dude's he's he's got a reach. He knows how to maintain his distance from you and still stick you. And I mean, he he you know he, he gets it in. You know what's crazy, man? Is like he looks that much better 
than the other featherweights. He does. But, but if you put him as a lightweight with Justin Poirier, I mean, there's a, there's a, he, Justin Poirier looks so much bigger than he him does, in that bro. fight. It's so weird. It, it's weird economy, man. Like, yeah. Weird variation between like how much bigger he looks at 145 yeah. and how much smaller he looks at 155. Yeah, bro. So, I mean, that, 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 at 10 pounds, people don't think like, 10 pounds really matters. It 10 does, pounds bro. is astronomical when in it comes fighting, to um, dude, professional combat. Yes, dude. Straight up. In competitive fighting, it is serious. Like, it really means what a lot, TJ. man. TJ. But <laughs> you want to break me? <laughs> Call me TJ. Why do all the guys with the J's not mess with us? I don't Man, know. I don't know. I don't know. Best friend but alert. I'm trying to see lightweight co-main Jim Miller though. Man, he's a beast. He's been fighting for dude. Ever. Jim and Clay have been fighting literally since ever. I think I was three years old. I mean, <laughs> uh, literally, bro. Jim Miller's 35 and uh, Clay's 37. I mean, uh, we're looking at a. Literal inch height difference and Ra- a literal inch reach difference. Random fact about Clay Guida, he actually puts on a big Lebowski festival every year. Yeah, that's probably the coolest thing he could ever do in his life. Yeah, I mean, like, that's great. I'm not sure who he is or who he dressed up as, but I know uh, everyone goes to this festival, they dress up as a character from Big Lebowski. That is legit. Obviously, bro. I would be the carpet. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be Philip Seymour Hoffman's character. Uh, well. That's. <laughs> I would be I'm Donnie. Just, I'm just gonna say John Candy. <laughs> I'm just gonna say John, John Candy. <laughs> Not John. Went, uh, John Goodman. John Goodman. He went with Uncle Buck yeah, on us. No, nah, but John you're Philip Seymour Hoffman. I'm Donnie. I'm the. I, I don't I'm even the tapestry. know. <laughs> Cause I'm, cause you, I'm pump for the, uh, you pump for NFL to start back, bro? It's getting close. Yes, man, you know, I don't, I don't Who's gamble, your team, dude. bro? I don't even know who your team dude, is. Uh, honestly, Cincinnati? Brother, I, uh, brother, I, I, I quit gambling completely. Dude, so, I don't mind talking about gambling. No, I'm talking dude, about this. Season. I, I, dude, I, don't, I don't like watching football unless I'm gambling on I it. I feel it. Who's your team, though? Bengals. The Bengals? I thought it was Cincinnati. We're, 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 Cincinnati. Really, man, I'm, I'm weird. I'm, I'm, a Bengals, Cle- I'm a Cleveland fan. I, 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 the Bengals are the Cardinals. But see, Word, dude, okay. Dude, yeah. I, I like Carlos back when they had Jake Plummer. Nice, Jake bro. the Snake old back school. in the day. Old back Arizona State QB. Yeah, bro. Larry um, Fitzgerald is probably so, one of the best players they've ever had. He's so, one of my favorite wide receivers I, uh, to live. But yeah, I, I, I always watch the Cardinals, the Bengals, when they play. Um, yeah, I like Cleveland. They have literally sucked since like 1952. But, dude, but they're going to be good this year. We got Odell Beckham Jr., we got our boy Mayfield. We got some hitters, bro. There's a couple other hitters on there too. We might do well. They have a great receiving core. We were ranked a like 13th, bro, for like preseason uh, ranking. Did you see NFL? that video with o- o- OBJ just catching balls with one hand, like left and right? And, no, and, 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 and the, but I did see the uh, football camp one they posted. There's, there's a dude behind him. Yeah, yeah and, 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 that's crazy, bro. OBJ is just so ah, sick, man. Yeah, he's so sick. sick. He really oh, is, but bro. dude, uh, I've been to a few NFL games. Nice. I've not. Now, I've never been an MLB game or an F- NFL we need game, go. bro. Dude, we, we, seriously. We need go. Or NBA either. I would say the closest NBA would be what Memphis. Cleveland. Is Cleveland Cle- closer Cleveland. than Memphis? Yeah, eight minutes, eight hours. Cleveland's five hours. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Um, you're right. That sounds so, uh, right. Yeah. Man, uh. We, yeah, Cleveland would be legit, bro. Let's go to the dog game. Even though the oh, oh, dude, I would love to go to the dog pound, bro. That'd be legit. Dude, and Cleveland, I mean, seriously, bro, you got to think we're gonna be good this year too. So like, it's gonna be a whole different ball game in Ohio, man. And, like, man, like the, the fans in Cleveland are so nice. Oh, that's what's up, dude. I feel like they definitely are from all. You know, I mean, I feel like it gets a little rowdy there too, for sure. Well, I hope I, it does. Uh, yeah, for, <laughs> I'm not talking to a water party. <laughs> Hand me that bush light. <laughs> Let me get that natty, yeah, son. Get that natty. Twenty four hours. Uh, no, nah, man. Like I said, uh, I feel like it's pretty chill up there. Or whatever. It seems like it's pretty, you know, whatever. Um, uh, I definitely want to go to a Browns game this season, man. Just because, like, they're really putting on. Like, I'm probably gonna get the NFL package simply because, dude. dude like, they're probably gonna do well. Pittsburgh's We're at least only, playoff contender. At uh, least gonna make it to the playoffs. Uh, Pittsburgh's only five hours away, too, man. Really? Yeah. So, 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 so I mean, like, I hate Pittsburgh, but, but dude, I'm telling you, Cleveland man, like, play in Pittsburgh. I, I'm telling you, man, the fans like, in the, they the, play in Pittsburgh and they play in Cleveland. They play Pittsburgh uh, twice. Uh, Heinz Stadium is so nice, and like the, the fans there, man, are so friendly. Really, really the cool. last time I went there, man, nice. I, I I got out of the vehicle, and the very first thing they said to me was, "Yeah, they they, they call me an F something for wearing a Bengals jersey." But <laughs> but then they proceeded to ask me if I wanted a Bush Light, nice. which, which I did take. You took the Bush and, Light, you and I to. drank an A with them the rest of the day. <laughs> It was it was a great time. The only Took thing, it. I mean, like I'll take being called the F word. Football. If, if, yeah, if I get free beer and free food the rest of the day, that's awesome, man. Sign me up. But for that, uh, man. yeah, dude, I would love to go see Cleveland play, man. Uh, and like I said, it's looking good. We're probably the only contenders we really have. 
no offense to Cincinnati, but like in in our division is Pittsburgh. Bro. Yeah, that's the ones that we kind of got to worry about because Pittsburgh are like consec- They're like consistently good. Like they they're always a little bit good. You know, they're never like horrible. You know what I mean? Like. They're usually pretty decent, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm a big Ben fan, man. Uh, nah, I don't like Big Ben. I, I mean, it's just it's really the whole, the whole rape thing. It's hard about the guy that because that's your rape. For I'm not time. down with that, guys. Yeah, uh, but you I mean, know what's like, crazy, though? like, I uh, I like the program itself, man. Yeah. I, um, well, the stadium's beautiful. It, the stadium's beautiful. It really is. Uh, and truthfully, man, the fans, well, the fans that I experienced when yeah. I was there were really cool. For sure, really bro. Cool. For sure. Really cool. Um, but yeah, man, uh, I've just always hated Pittsburgh with a passion. But it's just like a rivalry well, thing. And dude, I Pittsburgh guess. has the best bar street in America. Really? I, I, there's a street in Pittsburgh. I don't know what it's called, man. But look, there's 300 bars wow. and restaurants on this one street. That's awesome. So it's, it's literally impossible to start wedding to get to that. <laughs> I, I've tried. I've tried. You, you can't do it. That is if, funny. If you do it, man. you're going to have a bad time. You're going to have a bad time. God, that's hilarious, well, man. But uh, yeah, dude, for those of you who are into NFL – just watch out, son, because Cleveland's coming for some playoff. Baker contender. Mayfield. Dude, look, it's getting serious, that bro. Money Mayfield. I'm telling you, baby, it's serious. Dude. Speaking of, where's where's where's, where's our boy at? Who, uh, Floyd? Uh, J- J- Johnny Manziel. Oh, I thought, where's oh he at? yeah. Oh, where's bro, our boy for at? Real yeah, Money Manziel. I thought you were going to talk about Floyd. No, You're talking no, about, no, oh, no, oh, no. Money Mayweather. I'm talking about Money Manziel. Yeah, man. I don't yeah, know. Text, Mr. Tech, 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 I don't know, bro. It's uh, it, I don't know. I but mean, like Baker's killing it, bro. So hopefully he just keeps on killing it, man. Like we need a good court. We got a strong quarterback. Let's let's keep him in there, bro. I think he's gonna do great. He did pretty well last year, you know. Yeah. Uh, you know. Go Baker Mayfield. Go Browns. Straight up, bro. It's been a great episode, man. I appreciate you coming on. My I man, really appreciate hey Taylor, it. I love you. Love you Please too, have bro. me back. Absolutely, dude. So, I'll, so, I'll yell at you and cuss at you so, next so, time, so, like I did Will. So, so can I say this? I'll be back. I'll be back. Uh, Love you guys. Bless up. Hey, thank you for having me on. Make sure to go check out www.togetherftr.com. Hashtag TogetherFTR. We out.